10 Mysterious Statues On the mysterious Easter Island, located far off the coast of Chile, there are strange statues known as Moai. These are typically known as the Easter Island heads, but did you know that they are actually more than just heads? Those giant heads are attached to bodies, which archaeologists found buried underneath the ground. But here's where things get really strange. The Easter Island statues were carved in such a position that they appear to be covering their private areas with their hands, and in the exact same way that the Urfra Man, a strange statue found in modern Turkey, carved sometime around 9000 BC, covers his private area. The statues are basically identical, except that they were carved in very different times. The Urfra Man was carved in the area that was once known as Mesopotamia by an unknown race of Neolithic people. It's actually the oldest natural sculpture of a human that is life-sized. To compare, the Easter Island statues were made only about a thousand years ago by a group of Polynesians who settled on the island. So the big question becomes, why were two statues built, almost identical, 8,000 years apart by two different groups of people who never met each other? Is it just a big coincidence or were the Polynesians somehow influenced by those who lived in early Mesopotamia? And if so, how in the world did that happen? 9. Pyramids Around the World Every civilization from the ancient world built pyramids. There's no getting around it. Mesopotamia, Egypt, Maya, Aztec, Inca, Nubia, Babylonia. They all built pyramids. The Babylonians built something called a ziggurat from the Babylonian word for tall. The first ones were constructed in the 21st century BC making ziggurats some of the oldest pyramids in the world. But how did the idea for a tall structure with many tiers shaped like a triangle get passed down from the Babylonians to the Egyptians? And how did the notion of building pyramids then spread across the ocean to the Americas, where literally every culture built some kind of pyramid, usually using them for religious temples? To this day, nobody has been able to answer the question. It makes sense that people in the Mediterranean world built pyramids and even the Nubians with their small, black, pointy pyramids since they were neighbors with the Egyptians. The fact that they were built as far as China and on the other side of the world by cultures who had never had any contact with the Eastern world is pretty strange. One of the only things that makes sense is that there was some kind of outside influence that inspired and maybe even helped the emerging cultures of the early world to build pyramid structures. Who this influence was is up for debate, with some people claiming aliens and some claiming an ancient race of powerful beings called the Anunnaki. 8. The Eternal Spiral The spiral is a global coincidence and one of the oldest symbols found anywhere in the world. It is one of the most common geometric patterns that has been painted and carved in every region of the world since prehistoric times. However, there is a lot of speculation over the meaning of the spiral symbol some say it represented the sun, which does make sense considering the sun was something everyone on Earth could clearly see. Others believed it represented space and the galaxy, with ancient people looking to the stars and then drawing what they saw there. Others still believed the spiral had a more functional purpose, perhaps used as some kind of calendar that separated time in the swirling chapters, seasons, and solstices. Where has this spiral figure been found? It's been popular for at least 6,000 years and found all across Europe in the earliest Neolithic art around. The Celtic people drew spirals in almost everything in Ireland, from burial chambers to standing stones. One of the oldest spiral symbols ever is 18,000 years old, found engraved on a mammoth tusk in Siberia. Even more, societies all over the world created spiral monuments like complex mazes everywhere from North Carolina to ancient England and places like the Drombeg Stone Circle in County Cork, Ireland. To this day, we can only guess at what the fascination was with the spiral, though it almost certainly had something to do with early cultures representing the universe. 7. Mushrooms Everywhere Mushrooms are everywhere and hiding in plain sight, all across the globe. From pre-Columbian art to ancient India, mushrooms can be seen depicted in all kinds of different ways, even in China. There are humanoid figurines with mushrooms growing out of their heads. Some historians believe that mushrooms held great meaning in almost all ancient societies where they grew. 
This is especially true for the Harappan civilization, one of the earliest in South Asia. They flourished from between 2500 and 1500 BC and worshipped a plant called Soma, which was a hallucinogenic mushroom eaten throughout Siberia and the other nearby regions. Because the mushroom had psychedelic effects, it was treated like a deity. A plant deity also played a huge role in Persian mythology. It was called Hauma, and it actually came from the Indo-Iranian people, from the same ancient society that worshipped the Soma mushroom. Even in Hindu mythology, Shiva, the supreme being, is often depicted holding a mushroom in her right hand. The Buddha can even be seen in many different statues as part of a mushroom. But what's really surprising is that the mushroom cult goes all the way to Mexico, where the Maya had a weird fascination with the fungus as well. Could it be that all these ancient cultures were actually obsessed with eating mushrooms and hallucinating? Or was there a more complicated, deeper meaning behind the mushrooms found everywhere in the iconography of these ancient societies? Why do you think mushrooms have been portrayed in so many different cultures over the years? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. 6. Egyptians and Aztecs There are some rather strange coincidences between the Aztecs and the ancient Egyptians. The Egyptians came way before the Aztecs, but the two had a lot in common. And so too did the Maya and the Inca, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense. For example, the three major Mesoamerican cultures didn't appear until the 13th century, 2000 years after Egypt had already fallen out of its prime. Yet, they had some very similar principles. For example, the Egyptians used two main calendars, a religious calendar and a civil calendar. The religious calendar was for keeping the dates of holidays and festivals and tracking the moon, while the civil calendar recorded the amount of time that a pharaoh was in power as well as agricultural periods. Similarly, the Aztecs had two calendars, their sacred calendar that tracked days that their gods needed sacrifices and an agricultural calendar to keep track of when harvesting needed to be done. The weirdest part is that both cultures' calendars function on a schedule of 360 days, with these days spread into 18 months. There are honestly too many similarities to even get into, from the use of tombs and pyramids to the religious cults and the similar way both the Egyptians and the Aztecs used metal to decorate much of their artwork. 5. Curious Clamps Speaking of metal, evidence that the ancient cultures of the world had access to metal building supplies is overwhelming. In a bizarre coincidence, many countries thousands of miles apart seem to have used metal clamps when building their complicated structures. Though none of these clamps have ever actually been found, evidence of metalwork has been discovered in modern Egypt, Greece, Ethiopia, Armenia, Cambodia, Bolivia, Peru, and even Iran. Even though the metal clamps themselves have long since been removed or pillaged, the markings they left behind are still there. These markings are basically indents, the leftover impressions made by what must have been metal clamps that held huge pieces of stone together. According to archaeologists, tests revealed the clamp impressions were molds in which metal was poured, thereby binding two massive pieces of rock. And if you don't believe me, scientists even found metal still present in Ethiopia inside some of these clamp depressions. The metal is very specific too, crafted from copper, nickel, arsenic, and even iron. But what makes this so unbelievable is that these metals are not widely available in many of the regions where they were used suggesting somebody else gave the technology to the ancient builders, allowing them to construct biblical-sized monuments, propelling them out of the Stone Age. 4. A History of Priests One of the weirder historical coincidences is that every single place in the world, beginning thousands of years ago, had priests and priestesses as part of their society. Priests have existed since the invention of agriculture, maybe even before that. Some of the earliest known priestesses go back to ancient Sumer, to 2285 BC. The Sumer were really the first ones to make priests and priestesses as important in society as the king or queen. Many kings were also head priests. The coincidence here is that it happened in every society. For an unknown reason, 
civilizations decided they needed spiritual leaders who would interact with the gods and be in charge of the temples. Egyptian priests staffed temples and gave offerings to the gods, while priests in the Mesoamerican cities of the Maya, Inca, and Aztecs were the ones to deal in human sacrifices. As for ancient Greece, the priestesses were treated a little differently. They were oracles who gave prophecies, and some of the only respected women in all of classical Greece. The point is that wherever there have been people, there have been specially selected individuals chosen to be in charge of religious activities, and it's still going on today. 3. The Maya-China Link The Maya and the Chinese have a lot in common. At least the ancient societies did. According to Jose Enrique Ortiz Lanza with the National Institute of Anthropology and History of Mexico, both ancient cultures had a weird fascination with jade. In Mexico, archaeologists have discovered dead bodies of the Maya covered in masks made of jade, while in Chinese tombs, archaeologists have found dead nobles encased in full suits of jade. But the similarities don't end there. Both the Maya and the Chinese had a high respect for the elderly, with the Mayans inadvertently following some of the teachings of Confucianism. And then there are the gods they worshipped. The Mayan moon goddess Ixchel was almost always depicted as being accompanied by a rabbit, while the Chinese moon goddess Chang'e was also accompanied by a rabbit. They were basically twins, which seems impossible since the two cultures never even met. How could they both have thought of the exact same goddess being accompanied by a rabbit? It seems inconceivable. But for this coincidence, there is a theory. Some archaeologists believe the Mayans actually came from East Asia across the Bering Strait and that they brought some of the ancient Chinese beliefs with them. There's no evidence of this theory yet, but it's one of the only explanations anyone can come up with, considering there are so many similarities between the two cultures. 2. Anunnaki Handbag One of the strangest symbols found throughout the ancient world, believe it or not, is an image that looks a lot like a modern handbag. The shape of the handbag can be seen in depictions all the way from the ancient Sumerians who lived in what is today Iraq to the Maori of New Zealand and even the Olmec culture of Central America. The handbags are seen in carvings of powerful figures and nobody is really sure what they mean. The first known example of a handbag appearing in an ancient carving comes from the very end of the last ice age. The oldest handbag of them all was found in the ruins of Gobekli Tepe in Turkey, carved onto stone in 11,000 BC. To make things even more mysterious, nobody knows the purpose of the mountain ruins in which the carving was discovered. Some believe the handbag is a representation of the cosmos. This is because they are almost always seen being held by a god or mythical deity. The gods hold these handbags in the same way a person would hold a basket. And one of the theories is that the basket or handbag actually contains the sacred knowledge of the gods. These gods, some claim, are actually the ancient race of beings known as the Anunnaki, who are said to be the original creators of humankind. 1. Egyptians in the Grand Canyon Here's a question. Did the Egyptians cross the ocean and land in the American Southwest thousands of years ago? A discovery in the early part of the 20th century suggests that such a thing may have happened. According to a story published in the Arizona Gazette back in 1909, archaeologists funded by the Smithsonian believe that they found proof of an Egyptian civilization that lived inside the Grand Canyon. The archaeologists allegedly discovered a series of caves filled with artifacts that proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that Egyptians were living in America. The archaeologists found tablets that were engraved with hieroglyphics, though these tablets were eventually lost and never recovered. Today, the Smithsonian actually denies that it ever happened. So, there are either two possibilities. Either a small Egyptian colony really did find the way to the Grand Canyon, and the tablet artifacts were real and the Smithsonian is lying about it for an unknown reason, or it never happened at all. But would the Smithsonian truly have destroyed artifacts and denied a real scientific finding just to change the official narrative? There are rumors that in 1892, a series of mysterious coffins were found in Alabama, turned over to the Smithsonian Institute, and then lost under dubious circumstances. So, it seems anything is possible. Thanks for watching. Which of these coincidences makes the most sense to you? 
Let us know in the comments section and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and come back soon for another awesome video. See you next time. Bye.